You better turn up You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead Go and catch me, baby What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am super excited for today's video because we have another extreme hoarding situation. I went over to my friend's house to help her get her life together as we declutter, organize, purge, items in her home office and it's a little bit of a mix of her own like personal space so there's beauty products accessories all of the things but she was in desperate need of some help so today's video is filled with tons of cleaning motivation for you guys and i know it's definitely one that you guys will enjoy so make sure to stay to the end so you guys can see the full transformation of where we started versus where we finished at i honestly surprised myself but any big job like this definitely requires a lot of energy to get throughout the tons and tons of hours of cleaning and organizing and all that good stuff so i did want to share with you guys the magic mind shots that i have been taking it has literally boosted my energy it just makes me feel so like productive i find myself getting so much stuff done in such a short amount of time and i have a special discount code for you guys linked down below in the description bar where you guys can save money on your subscription so i highly recommend you guys check them out i've been taking it for probably about two weeks now and i see a huge difference and it doesn't make you crash like all of the other energy kind of drinks that are on the market and that's something Something that I really enjoy about it it has all natural products so you don't have to really worry about putting like bad stuff in your body and especially with me being on a health journey I'm definitely mindful of the things that I'm taking so I will have the discounted link down in the description bar and I also wanted to let you guys know that you guys can try this stuff out with no worries because they have a hundred percent money back guaranteed so if there's something about it that you don't like whether it's the taste or whatever it might be you can get your money back no questions asked Anytime I'm working on a large project like this one, I like to get rid of all of the trash that I see around the room first. You will see how instantly it already opens up the space a little bit more, the floor you can actually see. And it was basically just a bunch of different boxes that she had shopped and purchased and also some things that weren't actually meant to be in the room and needed to be put in its rightful place. Then I will take my time and work my way around the room. There is no rhyme or reason as to where I like to start. I literally just choose one corner and start going around the room. And before you know it, you will start to see the room start to open up. It starts to look cleaner and the overwhelmingness of the whole entire process gets less and less. I'm scared you're gonna blow your fuse Come a little bit closer Yeah I can really start over Yeah In the back of my mind There's someone waiting on me You're just wasting my time Because you're scared and lonely Finally got some closure Yeah I can finally start over Cheers to you, used 
So I decided to start off with the shoe wall because I wanted to wipe down these shelves because I honestly wasn't sure when the last time it was that she wiped them down. And as I'm pulling every single pair of shoes off, I'm asking her if she wants to hold on to them, does she want to purge them, and really just trying to get an idea as to what pairs of shoes that we are actually going to be keeping. When it comes to me helping a friend out, I don't have any attachment to these items and I do understand that they do you know these are their items so it is a little bit harder for them to let go of them so you see me going back and forth she has about three pairs of black boots I was telling her I'm like one of them's got to go one of them has got to go we're not going to have three pairs of black boots and thankfully she ended up trying them on and did purge some of them but yeah i know it can be hard to let your items go but i always like to do the six month to one year rule if you have not grabbed for these items if you have not worn these items it's time to donate and purge Now that we got all of these shelves wiped down, we purged a bunch of shoes. It's now time to restyle these shelves. And you guys will see in a moment that we actually had some extra space. So I was able to take some items from another portion of the room and use the shelves to style them as well. I always like to put one shoe facing the front and the other one facing the back. It uses less room than if you have both of them facing the same direction. By purging some of her shoes and also putting them up on the shelf the way I had just explained, we had an entire free shelf down at the bottom. So I figured this is a perfect place to store all of her purses. And basically, instead of just making this a shoe wall, it now becomes an accessory wall.
there were a couple of taller boots that I just placed down at the bottom and this is another hack that you can use go to your local Dollar Tree and get those pool noodles especially during this time and all you have to do is cut them and insert them on the inside of your like over the knee boots so it allows them to stand tall and you get that nice luxury look rather than them just sitting in the corner kind of like bent over but at this point we weren't going to run to the Dollar Tree just for the sake of the video but it is another hack that you guys can use. Originally, she was planning on taking out this little shelving unit and throwing it away, donating it, whatever. But I thought that this would be a perfect place to organize and store some of her other items because there is a little bit of lack of storage in here. Yes, you have all of the shelves on the wall, but she was adamant about displaying all of her shoes. But other than the other shelving unit in the corner, there really isn't anywhere else to organize and store all of her things and as you guys see she has a lot of them so I just moved it out of the way for right now I figured we can repurpose this and use it somewhere else in the room At this point, I had been cleaning this room for a couple of hours and I was really getting into the groove, helping my friend declutter and organize her space. And I just wanna let you guys know that I absolutely love doing these type of things. I feel as if in my heart of hearts, I am definitely a server, somebody who likes to help others out. And I know that some of you guys even find yourselves in these type of situations where life gets the best of you and before you know it, your entire space 
space it is so cluttered you don't know where to start and this can be very overwhelming but the number one tip that I could honestly give you is start by just decluttering all of the trash and then number two focus on one corner at a time and before you know it your space will become organized and it allows you to catch back up but don't feel as if you need to tackle every single thing in one day just focus on a little bit at a time This conversation and you seem to agree with me but when there's complications you withdraw and leave me to be when there's a problem you become like a wall and every time I so my helper is back as you guys can see she actually was outside playing in the sprinklers for a little while and now it is just in time for us to start organizing my friend's makeup and if you guys don't already know Riley is a girl's girl and she absolutely loves makeup and did leave at the end of the day with a couple of pieces of makeup I allow her to play with it when we're in the house nothing big but we ended up purchasing these two containers from I believe Target and this was the perfect place to organize all of her makeup and stuff because we wanted to remove this Ikea drawer out and put it in the garbage can so we're going through drawer by drawer taking things out and surprisingly enough she hoarded a lot of this makeup so I was definitely very surprised.
By this time it was lunch and we had been there since the morning so she ended up running out and grabbing us some lunch and basically she just gave us directions to put any hair products into this box because she had a storage space upstairs where she keeps all of her like hair products and all of that stuff so that is basically what we're doing and then anything I wasn't quite sure about I did end up adding into this box or setting it over to the side so that when she did come back we could ask her if she wanted to keep it donate it throw it away um, and then we can figure out a place for anything that she actually wanted to keep. Because we were able to clean off this shelving unit, we actually originally had her purses here. But again, because we purged some of her shoes, we transitioned those purses over to the other side of the room, which left us this entire shelf full of space to use. So what she ended up doing is she collected all of her books that were upstairs in her bedroom, and we decided to bring them down here. Honestly, because this is her office space, it actually is more fitting to have books down down here rather than cluttering up a dresser upstairs.
we finally made it to the last corner of the room and at this point I could start to tell that Riley was starting to become over it there wasn't too much stuff for her to do um, and you know when I see and feel her starting to get to that point where she's just completely over it wants to go you know wants to get outside play with her friends or whatever it is um, I start to move quickly because I didn't want to leave her space where it was still a little bit of a mess I wanted to at least finish what I started So the last area that needed some extreme decluttering and organizing was definitely under her like vanity where you guys can see there are tons of different bags filled with the most randomest stuff in those cans is actually homemade honey I believe it is. Um, so I basically did what I could to just organize everything as best as I could and once I finished doing all of that underneath the vanity I then started to tackle the top area because there's just a whole bunch of random products just laying all over there I don't know the last time when she wiped everything down again so I'm just helping her out with the clear spaces that need some help
At this point, I was beyond tired. I probably had been cleaning for about five, six hours at this point, but as I even looked around the room and saw what a difference from where we started, it gave me that little extra oomph that I needed to completely finish everything that I needed to get done. Now, I definitely will need to come back and do a better organizational aspect to this because we didn't get to the closet or even the vanity dresser um, I kind of just touched lightly on her actual desk because again at this point we were just so exhausted and I also know when to stop pushing myself the main goal was to be able to see the floor be able to walk into the room not be overwhelmed when you open the door and I definitely did achieve that Just finishing up by wiping down her desk and here is the final reveal of what the room looks like it is such a transformation and honestly I am so proud of myself with everything that I was able to get done let me know what you guys think in the comments please like and subscribe and if you're looking to boost your energy stop that procrastination make sure to click the discounted link for the magic mind shots to save money on your subscription today